Hi there, this is a quick video on how to use CSS Hero to create a custom class in the Divi theme from Elegant Themes. So here we are with a page that I created earlier. We've got four images with a heading. And we've got a little bit of text above each photo. Now, why do we want to create a custom class? Well, let's just say I want to change the heading or make these bits of text into headings above each photo. Now, if I didn't create a custom class, I would have to go in and individually change the settings for each bit of text. So let's just show you how that works. Let's go behind the scenes here. So I've got the text above the first photo. I can go in here. I've got to select this. I'll choose H2. I will then choose a color from here. Let's go red and click save. OK, now I've got to go and do that to the next one. So let's go in here, select H2. Let's go select a color, red, save. And then I've got to go here, do this again, select the heading to select the red text, save and we, so on. We can do it for the last one here. So H2, red color and save. OK, now if I actually update that, let's update it. I can go back in and change it real quick. So if we go and have a look at that front page again, press F5. I've just updated all those to an H2 red okay but i had to do it four times so it was a little bit crazy here's how we do it with a custom class really easy to do so first of all let's go into each one of those and reset them all so i'm going to put them all back to paragraph i'm going to change the color to the default click save and this is a pain if i wanted to change all of these at the same time i would have to go in here and do all this to each one of them now using a custom class will allow me to make one change to one of them and it will actually update all the rest. So it becomes very easy if you've got a bit of text or something that you have in the rest of your site and you want to change it all at one time, custom class comes in really handy. So let's get all these updated. As you can see, all that time it took me to reset those back to normal. OK, I'm going to click update. We'll go back over to the front page just to make sure, show you that they're all gone. OK, they're all back to where they were. OK, that was a lot of work, wasn't it? Anyway, here's how we do it with CSS here. So let's go back to our text. OK, what we're going to do is going to scroll down the bottom here. I'm going to put our red dash H2. OK, I'm just going to copy that. Control C, save. OK, next one I'm going to go scroll down to the bottom into the CSS class area here. OK, so it's the CSS class, not the CSS ID. Uh, and the reason we use a CSS class is we can use it for multiple times throughout the page or the site. CSS ID, I wouldn't bother using it. So we're going to go red H2 and going to go down to this one over here. Scroll down to the bottom here, put uh, red H2, control V. I'm going to do that. I want to do it in the text. So this is going to be red H2, control V. Click Save, Update, and if I go to my front page, absolutely nothing happens. OK, there we go. So here's how CSS Hero makes it really easy. So I'm going to go and click on CSS Hero. I'm going to click on the targeting tool. OK, and I'm going to click on this icon here. There's the little three lines with a plus sign. Click on that. I'm going to add a dot because it's the class red dash H2 and save my selectors. Click on the targeting tool one more time. OK, now if I come over here, you'll see that once I click on that, I have the option of red H2 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to text. I'm going to change this to red. As you can see, it has already updated all of them to red. But I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to make this up to 30. There we go. And I'm going to make that bold. And now if I click that, we have updated them all at one time. OK, so the nice thing about that is if I've got that red H2 on any of these areas in the text here, like, for example, I could click in on this one and add red H2 to the custom class area. This one, the CSS class down there, I won't bother for now. And you can use that throughout the site. Now, if I come back here, let's just say I don't want that to be red. OK, what I can do is I can go in here, target it. OK, select this one again, select my red H2. Now let's change that text. So let's just say we don't want it bold, for example. So we're just going to take that, make it normal, save, and we've just changed all of them at the same time. How easy is that? OK, another quick example. Let's take this image here. OK, I'm going to add a shadow to the image. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go in the CSS class there. I'm going to type 
image dash shadow and I'm going to put a one at the end of it because it could have multiple types of shadow that you want to use okay I'm going to click on update I'm going to go to CSS hero I'm going to click on the targeting tool click on this little icon here I'm going to go on to a completely new line I'm going to type dot image dash shadow one I'm going to save the selectors okay I'm going to click targeting tool I'm going to go over this first one as you can see it's image shadow one is already there I'm going to go here I'm going to click on extra because that's where my box shadow is I'm going to click on box shadow add a little bit of gray maybe a bit too dark there that's good click on the gray again to close that color window you can see that I've already got a bit of a shadow there I'm going to click on this one I can use my arrow keys to push it across and I'm going to click on the Y to bring it down same again I can use my arrow keys to bring it down looks like it's a little bit too sharp so I'm going to click on the blur add a little bit of blur and we've got a nice little shadow on that now there we go I'm going to just make that offset a little bit more that way and a little bit more that way and we've got a nice shadow there so I'm going to click Save now let's say I want to add a shadow to this one okay I can go behind the scenes again okay click on this image here and come down here all I got to do is type image dash shadow one save update if I come back to my front page again click on that to refresh it that's F5 I now have a shadow on there and I can add a shadow the same shadow anywhere I want if I don't like that shadow once again I can click on here okay click on this one take the image shadow one I can go down to the extra the box shadow now if I don't want it quite as big okay I can take this in a little bit and edit this now now I've got rid of it but I'm going to bring it back in by bringing a bit of shadow there I'm going to bring the x-axis over a little bit there and then the y-axis down a little bit I'm going to add a very little bit of blur and a little bit of spread and you can see that I changed all of them at the same time that's how you add a CSS custom class to the Divi theme using CSS hero really easy the easiest thing is to name it something that can recognize so for example in mine here on my text I actually put red h2 because it's telling me it's a red color it's an h2 I wanted it rather large okay and it tells me what it is when I do a CSS class probably easier for me to remember that too same thing with the image shadow you know I've got an image shadow here it's easy for me to remember CSS class image shadow one I might have multiple types and type it in there so that's it hope you enjoyed this and have fun with CSS classes thanks for watching bye now